Good morning, and welcome to the 5 Before Podcast. I'm Pastor John Belangia, and live, well, nope, not live today, actually. Let me rephrase that. You're going to see this outfit a lot over the next three days, because we're about to record three in a row, and normally I do mine live so that I can have live interaction, but today um, we are pre-recording, and so these are pre-recorded, and um, we're glad that you're joining with us. We hope that you're having an awesome week. It's halfway through the week, Super Bowl week. Aaron gave you his pick yesterday. Are you still feeling good about your pick, Aaron? Feeling pretty good about it. All right, 28-24, in case you don't remember that. I'm going to hold him accountable until Sunday, and then on Monday we'll let you know how we do I told you I'm going to give you my pick um, tomorrow, so it'll be on the next episode um, to see what the 49ers are going to do. And I'm just going to prophesy with faith. I'm not going to give you my honest opinion because I don't feel good about the 49ers winning this game. But um, I'm going to speak with faith, and we uh, talked last night in our School of Discipleship about having a culture of faith. And so I was like, yeah, I better operate in that right now, in that culture of faith. So uh, really good. Yeah, and, and in case you don't know anything about that, what we're doing, um, just to invite all of you, it is open to anyone. This is not a faith community thing. This is a big C church thing that we're trying to do, opening up a, a ministry school, a school of discipleship where you're going to be able to engage, you know, your faith on a deeper level and try to um, – transition into, okay, God, how do you want to use me in my life and helping you operate within the context of ministry and everyday life. And, um, it's been amazing. Last night was so awesome. It's on Tuesday, every Tuesday night led by Eddie Turner. And so listen, if you want to, um, really start ministry in your life, even if it's, you know, not a thing where you're saying, I want to be a pastor, I want to work for a church. Um, it would be a great opportunity for you to come out and be with us. We would love to have you. But anyway, uh, back to the uh, podcast today. Uh, we've been in fasting and we have three more day. Well, two more after today, today and two more. And um, I just want to tell you, thank you for letting me share all of this with you. I know um, some of you maybe are like ready to move on and we're almost there, but the fast ends on Sunday. And I just want to continue to encourage this lifestyle um, in your life because it is very impactful. And so we're talking through the um, now we're in the section when we're talking through the rule rewards of fasting. We've been giving you those one by one. Um, and I think we're on the 10th one, the 10th reward, if I'm correct. Um, nope, the ninth reward. I apologize, the ninth reward. But I will tell you um, just uh, real quick, I want you to know physically it's very beneficial too. Um, I have a whole list of things um, here that uh, talk about the physical benefits of fasting causes weight loss, uh, obviously, and, and the Daniel Fast is actually a very healthy weight loss program, but that's not why we do it. Just remember, that's not the motive. That's just a benefit. Um, fasting promotes de detoxification. The body breaks down its fat reserves, cleans out all of its stored toxins. Fasting helps uh, the digestive system by giving it a rest. Uh, it's very beneficial for your digestive system. It promotes the resolution of the infl inflammatory process, such as rheumatoid arthritis. Um, actually, they've proven that fasting can actually heal that, and that's really cool that something God told us to do has an automatic healing element in it. Fasting uh, quiets allergic reaction and can even heal asthma, as studies have shown medically. Fasting corrects high blood pressure without drugs. Fasting will normalize blood pressure. And in the vast majority of cases, keep the blood pressure low if you continue on a healthy um food intake regime, you know, and so uh, these are all medically documented things that I'm telling you. Fasting has been documented to help fight against and break addictions, um, specifically chemical addictions um, that are against you. Uh, fasting helps control the cr craving for nicotine, nicotine, alcohol, caffeine, and other drugs. Fasting clears the sins, I mean the skins, um, not the sins, the skin, and it erases wrinkles, it whitens your eyes. So these are things people pay big money for Aaron to get wrinkles gone and white eyes and stuff they pay big money for that so and this is free this is free so that's pretty cool it fights against cancerous cells um many times uh in, in in other countries it's it's a norm practice to put someone who has been diagnosed with severe cancer on a fast and even here in the states at times when they don't know what to do they say one of the things that we've seen work is fasting and so um it works uh, it cleans out the colon kidneys lungs gallbladder liver joints and pretty much every other organ in your body. It restores the taste buds to make natural flavor taste better. It's kind of a palate cleanser. That's pretty cool. Um, 
And it also, psychologists say, it calms and clears the mind. So there you go. There are some of the benefits. But let me give you one more of the biblical benefits uh, today. Um, if you don't feel God is active in your life and you just feel separated from him and like his presence really isn't like strong in your life. Now, a lot of the scriptures that we've read have alluded to this. So you could go back to most of the passages we've read and you could see this kind of brings people back into touch with God's presence and experience God. But in Matthew 9, Jesus says this. He says, And Jesus' disciples came and asked him, How is it that we and the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not fast? And Jesus answered, how, do the guest, how can the guest of the bridegroom mourn while he is with them? The time will come when the bridegroom will be taken from them, then they will fast. And so Jesus actually equates uh, fasting in this conversation with saying, listen, you know, they're, they're with me right now and they're hearing me clearly right now. So it's not the time to fast. He says, but there's going to come a time where I'm not going to be with them the way that I am right now. And there's going to be a time where they feel separated and there's going to be a time where they feel like they can't really hear my voice. And they say, he says, and then they'll fast. And that fasting will bring you back into contact with who he is. And so if you're in this dry season of life, if you're in this desert moment where it's just like, man, I can't hear you. I don't see you. I don't know if you're anywhere around me fast. And, and that's where it goes from making it the benefits that I just, that big list I just gave you of, of medical and health benefits. That's where all that goes out the window. That doesn't even matter in regard to the fact that what matters most is I'm getting to become intimate with him again. Um, I talked on Sunday about this idea of not focusing on what I'm giving up, but I focus on what I'm getting and what I'm getting is quality time with God. And that's so important. It's so important. And that has to be the primary reason that we do it. So I just want to tell you again today, if, if you're struggling to, to, to feel God and, and you don't know if he's real in your life right now, why don't you, why don't you give up lunch today? Give up dinner tonight, give up Facebook today and, and just focus on him and, and get back in tune and get back in touch with who he is and it'll work. So thank you guys for letting me share that with you. And uh, let me pray over you today about this. Father, we love you. We thank you today that you have given us this opportunity not to lose weight, not to erase wrinkles, not even to fight disease in our life, but God, most importantly, to just get close and spend time with you. Um, that's the primary reason for this and the benefit that I celebrate the most about my fast. And God, I feel it more this time than probably ever before is I just feel so close to you. I feel so near your voice and near your heart. And God, I just, I just am grateful for that. So Father, I just pray for those that maybe aren't experiencing what I'm experiencing right now. I, I can empathize with them because it wasn't very long ago, uh, just a few months ago, that I felt very separated from you. I felt very distant from your presence. Uh, and you want us to live in the context of your presence. So God, I just pray that you draw them into that right now. And God, they would even make some effort right now that they would make um, some sacrifice in their life to just, okay, God, I'll do whatever I have to do to get close with you. I'll lay whatever I have to lay down to get close with you. So God, I just pray that you would do that for the men and women that are listening today, God. And I want them to be able to feel you and hear you like never before. And I just lift that need up to you. And I pray that we're going to hear testimonies from this in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys so much. And I'm praying that this will work in your life. And listen, if you have testimonies or stories of what God's doing in the season, please let us know. And again, any questions you have about the subject, just reach out to us. We would love to answer those. Uh, but anyway, I hope you have an awesome Wednesday. God bless.